yes mask or no mask? Well, the quick answer is yes mask. The recommendations for civilian mask wearing in the United States seem to be changing. So we're going to answer these questions today. Should you wear a mask? Which type should you wear? And how much will it actually help? My sources will be in the description of this video. Let's begin. So these two facts remain true. One, wearing a mask will not block COVID particles from entering your face. It's not likely to prevent you from getting COVID-19. And two, if you are sick, wearing a mask can prevent you from getting other people sick. It'll stop you from spreading large amounts of virulent particles from your nose and mouth. A mask generally doesn't stop COVID-19 particles from entering, but it can stop large amounts of particles from leaving. That's what it does. So what's changed since we were first told to not wear masks by everybody? Well, what changed is that we now know that the majority of coronavirus spread is attributed to asymptomatic transmission. This means that the biggest spreaders are people who have no symptoms and likely don't even know that they're sick. Medical grade masks need to be prioritized in the direction of healthcare facilities, but homemade masks and extra masks can potentially help prevent you from infecting others if you're sick and don't know it. You don't wear a face mask to protect yourself, you wear it to protect others. And we can do that for the same reason that we're all quarantining. We have no way of knowing who's sick or not since we have no fucking test. So we all have to behave as though we're all already infected just as a precaution. But there are a few different types of masks and you might be wondering if some are more effective than others, particularly those N95 masks. Yeah, the big bad boys of the mask world the Dwayne The Rock Johnson of masks, if you will. Well, I'll just get this out of the way. See, N95 respirators filter out around 95% of particles as small as 0.3 microns. However, coronavirus particles have been found to be in the range of 0.06 microns to 0.14 microns when measured under an electron microscope. Yay. So that's like if the virus was Kevin Hart, but Kevin Hart like back in the first grade. The Rock probably won't even see him coming and the little dude is fast and, and, and agile. He's slippery, little Kevin Hart. So while they'll trap more particle clusters than others, even the best masks out there won't protect you from breathing in coronavirus. However, like I said, N95 masks and others can effectively prevent you from spewing large amounts of particulates in the air in the case that you're sick. So. How about other types of masks? Well, there's still a lot more research to be done, but as of now, the most extensive side-by-side -side comparisons of different masks that I found are from two studies that are both conveniently included in an article on smarterfilters.com. One study compared mask effectiveness with pollution particles and the other compared mask effectiveness with virus particles. I've included the link in the description, of course, if you'd like to take a closer look at the comparisons. But at the end of the day, the increase in use of face masks by the public has exacerbated the global supply shortage of them, putting frontline healthcare professionals at risk. Remember, it's not just the workers themselves that need to wear these masks. It's the super sick patients that they need to put them on too. So this might change in the future, but for now, as a general rule, please leave the medical grade surgical masks and N95s to healthcare professionals. Your best bet at the moment is to get your arts and crafts on and jump on the homemade masks trend. Hashtag masks for all, hashtag still not making a TikTok. Links are in the description for a couple of design options. Now, your homemade cotton and paper towel masks may only be around 20% effective at filtering particles, but it is better than nothing. And the benefit is exponentially boosted the more people are wearing them. 30 people wearing a mask that is only 20% effective is a lot better than 30 people not wearing anything. It's similar to what we see with the flu vaccine. The flu vaccine is generally only 40 to 60% effective, which may not seem great, but that drastically reduces the spread of the flu every year. 40% mitigation in a big population is a lot of people who get to avoid getting sick, which means a lot less people die than if we were to have no vaccine at all. And this should go without saying, but Wearing a mask does not mean that you can just up and stop social distancing. Stay in your house. Only go out to perform essential duties and you can put on a mask if you do. Until we get a vaccine, if we get 
everyone to do all of the mitigation strategies, even if all are only partially effective, we will give ourselves the best chance of flattening that damn curve and saving a lot of lives. And remember that the most effective strategy is staying the hell away from everyone. So once again, keep your ass at home. Thank you. So peace out. I'll talk to you guys later. I uh, need to figure out how to make a mask. Hurry up the